And next topic is approach to optic disc edema by Dr. Kalemedi. Dr. Kalemedi is senior consultant, cataract and uh, comprehensive ophthalmology department, Giridharai Institute, Kochi. Over to you, Dr. Kalemedi. Good afternoon, everybody. My topic is approach to a patient with optic disc edema. Optic disc edema could be either unilateral or bilateral and with, with or without vision loss. So unilateral with vision loss could be demyelination because of demyelination if the age group is below 50 or because of non-arteritic AION if the age group is after 50. And if there is no vision loss, it could be either pseudopapilledema or a raised ICT which is asymmetrical. And if it is bilateral without vision loss, it is it could be due to increased ICT. And if with vision loss, it could be either N NMO or MOG type of optic neuritis. A pseudo disc swelling of, uh, often is seen in a routine examination in an asymptomatic patient with marked hypermetropia or myopia. And but in case of true disc edema, the patient will complain of uh, headache, nausea, vomiting pain on during eye movements, sudden or gradual vision loss, transient obscuration of vision, pulsatile tinnitus, diplopia, etc. So we have to ask history of, regarding trauma, surgery, systemic diseases, drug intake, miscarriage and dehydration. And in examination, we have to check vision, color vision, pupillary examination, ptosis, proptosis, extraocular movements, slit lamp examination, fundus examination, blood pressure, and record the temperature, and also palpate for the temporal, thickened temporal arteries. These are the points to note for uh, in true disc edema, the, the blurred uh, disc margins, flame-shaped hemorrhages, obscuration of vessels, dilated veins, the SVP will be absent, and disc hyperemia. Now coming to the cases, a five-year-old child came for a routine examination and the disc looked like this, bilateral um, blurring of disc margins. But with plus six diaptosphere, the, the child vision improved to six by six. So it is a case of hypermetropic disc, pseudo disc edema. An 18-year-old boy came with headache, uh, vision 66N6, the bilateral uh, fundus picture showed bilateral disc edema. Uh, OCT is OCT showed some uh, globular bodies here and uh, autofluorescent, uh, there, was, there was hyper autofluorescent um, substances in both eyes and uh, in ultrasonography showed hyper reflective bodies in both eyes. So it's a case of uh, disc drusen. In case three, it's a 56 year old male, right eye blurring of vision, mainly in the inferior region, one week duration. Vision 66N6, blood pressure, everything was normal. Uh, super, uh, right eye superior, uh, disc margin, uh, obscuration of uh, disc margin. And uh, OCT uh, is like this, inferior altitudinal defect. So it's a case of AION. 50 year old female, sudden diminution of vision, right eye, one year, one day duration with severe pain. Uh, RAPD right eye, uh, color vision de uh, defective, it, and optic uh, fundus picture is like this. And OCT, uh, visual fields, MRI was uh, suggestive of optic neuritis. IVMP was given and she improved. 52 year old uh, female, blurring of vision, both eyes, three weeks duration and pupils sluggish, non-dilating, severe anterior uveitis, IOP was very low, four in both eyes. This is the slit lamp picture of right eye, left eye. This is the fundus picture. Both eyes disc, uh, I mean, uh, uh, disc edema with choroidal uh, detachment and severe anterior uveitis. This is the OCT picture and uh, it's a case of VH, VKH. Steroids were given and improved. 70 year old female, right eye, diminution of vision for two days, uh, RAPD right eye, right eye disc edema, and uh, treated, uh, treated as AION. And later on, um, both eyes cataract were done. After 10 years, she presented with uh, left eye uh, disc edema and diminution of vision. And the vision, I mean, this left eye uh, disc is like this. At that time, the right eye disc became pale and uh, 
this is a case I um, fields or shows altitudinal field defect. It's a case of sequential non-arthritic AION pseudo Foster Kennedy syndrome. The risk factors should uh, we have to keep the risk factors under control. 42 year old female, sudden blurring of vision with headache, left side, two days duration, no fever, uh, color vision normal, no RAPD left eye. Here there is left eye disc elevation with macular edema. So we suspected neuroretinitis and blood, uh, blood, uh, blood was sent for testing. This is the, and here we can see the um, macular star with disc edema. This is a disc edema. MRI was normal and toxo IgG came out to be positive, treated with clindamycin and visolone, and she improved. So 60 year old female, left, left eye diminution of vision, two weeks duration, sudden onset, RAPD left eye, uh, color vision decreased, only disc edema. And uh, this is the OCT. And in the MRI, there was uh, minimal thickening of the optic nerve sheath alone. So it's a case of optic perineuritis. So tapering dose, and uh, Weisslone was given and tapered and she improved. 43 year old man presented with severe headache, BP was 220 by 120, both eye um, florid disc edema, it's a case of malignant hypertension. 67 year old gentleman, headache, vomiting, left sided weakness, one week duration, both eye disc edema, a MRI showed a mass lesion which was uh, meningioma. And 28 year old obese lady with PCOS, and both eye disc edema, MRI showed lateral sinus thrombosis and MRV was also taken. So bilateral disc edema, we have to think of in any intracranial uh, lesions or dural venous uh, sinus thrombosis or idiop idiopathic intracranial hypertension. 35 year old lady, throbbing headache, nausea, tinnitus, vision was okay, the florid disc edema, um, constricted fields, uh, MRI showed IAH. Uh, she underwent VP shunt and the v, I mean fields improved after that. So investigations to, uh, that should be done after uh, I mean in a case of disc edema or OCT, autofluorescence, angiography, fluorescent angiography, ultrasonography, fields, CT scan if MRI is contraindicated. Uh, in MRI with contrast with MR venography, LP and neurology or neurosurgical consultation if necessary. To conclude, history, examination, investigations and imaging aid in the diagnosis. Persistent disc edema of any cause um, causes permanent damage to the optic nerve. Bilateral disc edema is a medical emergency and prompt diagnosis and timely intervention is crucial in salvaging the life and vision of the patient. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Kalaimadi, for that uh, nice talk and beautiful case.